So today I have a pretty big haul to show you. This is stuff I actually picked up from a local pet store quite a few weeks ago now, but I'm finally getting around to film it for you guys. Most of the items I have are for my hamster Matilda and my two gerbils, Chicken and Waffles. I do have one really big item that I'm gonna be showing you at the very end of this video. That is for my Crested Gecko, so stay tuned for that. But before I show you the haul, first I want to mention this adorable portrait behind me. There is a little bit of a glare on it right now from the ring light, but in just a second I will show you a little close up of this. This is actually a custom portrait of Steve, of course. This was actually done by an amazing artist at inkpet.com. So at inkpet, they can actually make any of your pets into a custom portrait wearing any type of clothes and it's seriously the cutest thing I've ever seen. I did get a portrait of Steve done, as you can tell, and I also got a portrait of Piper right here, which is amazing. I definitely need to get one of Ellie done in the future to hang up because these are the cutest things ever. These portraits are so, so good. So if you want a custom portrait of your pet wearing any style of clothes you want, make sure to click the link down in the description. Check out inkpet.com. I do wanna give a big shout out to Inkpet for sponsoring today's video, but for now, let's go ahead and get on to the haul. So the first thing I picked up is something I'm going to be using for chicken and waffles, my gerbils. This is the KT Terracotta Hideout. This is the medium one. This is something I've only seen a couple places, so I thought I would pick it up. I know I did see one of my viewers said their gerbils had this and they didn't really enjoy it, but I thought I would go ahead and try it. This is just a long lasting chew proof hideout. I thought it'd be good to have a chew proof hideout for them since most of their other hideouts they do chew through pretty quick. So I thought this would just be kind of fun. Maybe I can use it as a tunnel or something. Hopefully they enjoy this. I also picked up another hideout for the gerbils that they're definitely going to chew through right away. This is actually the Hay House by Critterware. So I know they're gonna eat this one right away because it is pretty thin and it's made to be chewed on. I think they'll like this. I've never tried this before. I may give this to Matilda first since she's not a big chewer. I may let her use it for a little while and then I'll give it to Chicken and Waffles and they can destroy it. Next, I picked up an item I've never seen before. This is actually made by Habitrail Ovo. This is a chewable cardboard maze. And this one actually looks like a little pickup truck. So on the back, it's just some cardboard and you put it together and it will be like a cute little truck. Once again, I'll probably give this to Matilda first since she doesn't really chew on anything. And then after I give it to her, then I'll probably give it to Chicken and Waffles and they can destroy it. But I just thought this was really cute. And since I haven't seen it before, I definitely wanted to try it out. I did actually pick up a book while I was there. This is a Crested Geckos in Captivity book. This book is a little bit older. I think it's actually from 2005. So I'm guessing the information in here might not be the best, but I just absolutely love books like this because they have a lot of cool pictures. And I just like to see what was suggested like 12 years ago. So probably won't be using this as a care guide or anything, but I just love having books like this around. Another thing I picked up for chicken and waffles to chew on is this KT woven mat. This is the small one. It does come in a few different colors. This one has some green in there. So it is folded in half. So even though this is the small one, it is a pretty decent size. So hopefully they enjoyed this. This is something I've never tried out before. Um, they love chewing on pretty much everything, so I'm sure they'll love it. I also picked up a couple things of treats while I was there for both Matilda and the gerbils. The first one is by Living World. These are just some yogurt drops. These are the berry flavored ones. They just look like this. I like these because they feel like they are smaller. I don't like the really big yogurt drops because then I have to break them into pieces because I don't like giving a whole one at a time. So I thought these small ones would be a very good size and I don't think they've ever tried berry. Another treat I picked up is by Tiny Friends Farm. I've seen these at Petco and I don't know if I've ever had them before, but these are just the lovelies. They are banana strips strawberry and apricot flavor. Um, you can actually see them right there. So they're once again, a very nice small little size treat. I do have three more chews to show you and then I will go show you the giant item that I bought. The first chew is once again by Living World. These are the nibblers. These are literally just little slices of loofah. I've never had a hamster that likes loofah at all, but my gerbils actually really enjoy it. So I picked up some loofah for them. They'll probably get through these pretty quick, but I think they were pretty cheap. Um, I'm sure I could find it cheaper somewhere else if I just got like natural ones, but I like the cute little colors and hopefully they'll like these. A chew that I'm sure they're going to love is this corn fetty chew. This is by Critterware. So this has just a little bit of like corn husk on the ends and then I think this is cardboard in the middle. 
Um, it doesn't have any bells in it or anything, which is good um, because I don't want them to try to eat it. I know some things like this do have bells in them and I'm not a big fan of that. So this is just more of like a natural little chew. And then I actually picked up something super similar, but this is just by the Living World brand. It is just called the Nibblers, just like the loofah, um, but it's pretty similar. It's a little bit bigger, but it just has corn husk on both ends. So now I'm going to take you guys off the tripod and go show you the giant item that I bought at the local pet store. So we don't have my ring light out here and you can't see my feet in the reflection. So sorry if this isn't the best shot, but this is the new giant terrarium I picked up at the local pet store. This is by Zoomed and this is the skyscraper. This is actually an 18 by 18 by 36 terrarium. So this thing is absolutely massive. Yes, this is going to be for Harper, my crested gecko, once she is an adult. Most people recommend an 18 by 18 by 24 for adult crested geckos, which is what I was planning on getting, but I found this at a local pet store and it was actually on sale for less than the 18 by 18 by 24. I got this cage on sale for about $112, which personally I think is an amazing deal. Um, right here it says the list price was $170, so $112, I didn't think you could beat that. So while it is pretty big for one adult crested gecko, I think Harper will really love it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this big haul. Once again, thank you for inkpet.com for sponsoring this video. If you want any adorable custom portraits like these of your pets, make sure to check them out down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time.